Allah tells us right at the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah, meaning the first surah of the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah Allah says, Why do we miss that verse? Allah says, we will definitely, definitely, definitely test every single one of you without a single exception. You're going to be tested. With what? Min al khawf. A bit of fear. Sometimes you're scared, anxiety. You don't know. Allah says, lay your trust in us. We'll handle that for you. Don't worry. Do your best. Come close to us and be patient. One year, two years, five years. Most of us, it's not even that long, but we are more depressed. Allah says, don't worry. Take it easy. It's going to, we will help you through. Take it in your stride. What? Al khawf wal jua. Allah says, He will test you with hunger. What is hunger? After you were earning a thousand dollars a week, you start earning much less than that, maybe a hundred, and maybe you don't earn any more at all for a while. So what? You might have to tap into a little bit of your, maybe your reserves for a while. How long? I don't know. You don't know. Allah knows. Be patient. Be patient. Take it in your stride. You might lose produce. People suffer through the drought sometimes, and sometimes there's a bumper harvest. All this is part of the plan of Allah. Don't worry. Are you not a believer? Do you not believe that Allah provides for the ends that you cannot see? And do you think Allah did not see you? You're so big. Allah knows you. He saw you. Make a relation with Allah. See what he does. First thing, he will give you contentment. Instead of eating five morsels of food, you are now eating only two morsels of food. But when you sleep, you're saying, Alhamdulillah, I ate something. Others are not eating anything. That's what it is. But some people, they used to eat 10 morsels. If they have to drop to nine and a half, they can't sleep. How? How? I used to drive the latest Mercedes. Now, how can I drive a Toyota? How? Brother, between you and I, a Toyota can be better. Just depends which one you got. Allah grant us ease.